Senior Bowl week is finally here, and we figured it was only right to do a quick preview of players to watch at each position. So join us as we break it down on this two-minute drill. We'll start out with the offense, and first up is the quarterback position, and the player to watch here is BYU's Jaron Hall. Hall has the arm talent and mobility to stand out, but ultimately has struggled in terms of refinement and touch passing. With the quarterback group not being super strong this year, if he or anyone else in the batch can have a week that puts them clearly ahead of the rest of the group, it could benefit their stock tremendously. Next, we have running back, and we're going with Texas's Roshan Johnson. With the Longhorns, Johnson was a backup to the presumed top running back in this class, B. John Robinson, but Johnson shined consistently on tape, being able to rotate in, and has a well-rounded skill set that should continue to contribute in the NFL. His current projected stock has him in the middle of the pack for running backs due to his usage being limited in the backup role, but with the same workload and opportunity as everyone else at the Senior Bowl, he's in position to potentially move himself up draft boards. Moving out of the backfield and through the receiver position, keep an eye on Iowa State's Xavier Hutchinson. Every year, the wide receiver spot seems to have a typical standout player who benefits their stock from the event, and I think Hutchinson could be that player this year. He has a tremendous blend of size and athleticism, and it seems that the consensus spot for him right now is in the third round, but I think he works his way into a much earlier position by draft day. Then on the offensive line, we have yesterday's profile, Cody Mock of North Dakota State. Mock has the traits to be a dominant zone blocking guard in the NFL, and has the personality and quirkiness that we saw help promote Landon Dickerson and Quinn Miners in years past. Mock should spend time all around the offensive line as the tackle group is lacking a little bit, but I think as a guard he's going to be highly coveted by the NFL. Now switching sides, we start on the defensive line where you should keep an eye on Georgia Tech's Keon White. White has started to gather plenty of attention after being put in mocks recently by some of the more notable draft analysts across the country, and that commonality should tell you the hype is very legit. White is likely a player selected in the first two rounds, and the chance to see him in the Senior Bowl with eyes up close will be huge to get a read on the type of player he could be in the NFL. At linebacker, we're talking TCU's D. Winters. Winters balled out in the playoffs and has been a key piece to the Horned Frogs front seven for the past few seasons. If he can keep the momentum going that he played with, he could very easily work his way into being viewed as one of the better linebackers in this class and potentially hear his name called on day two of the NFL draft. At cornerback, look out for Julius Brents out of Kansas State. With Brents' incredible near 34-inch arms and a 6'3 frame, the size and flashes are going to have teams very interested. The senior bowl drills aren't necessarily favorable to cornerbacks, but if he can have a good week showcasing what he can do in man coverage and working against some high-quality receivers, then he could be a hot commodity in this year's draft. And finally, for safety, look out for Sacramento State's Marte Mapu. After showing out in the NFL PA Bowl, he received an invitation to the Senior Bowl, and if he continues to shine, there's no telling what it could result in. Mapu is 6'3", 220 pounds, so he'll likely work between safety and linebacker, but he's already gotten the attention of NFL teams and could easily build more with another good outing. That's all we have for the Senior Bowl. Comment below and let us know what you think is going to happen at this week's Senior Bowl and some players you're very excited to see. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and that is the 2-Minute Drill.